Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. Today, I'm going to talk about EOS, and I will touch on Tron and Bitcoin as well. Just in case you're new to the channel, just to remind everybody that Coinbase, they have some giveaway. You can earn up to $10 of EOS. So basically, read the, uh, watch the videos. You can check it out. You can go to Coinbase. And also Ontology, they have some giveaway. This is an ONG token. And basically to qualify, you can uh, you have to sign, you have to join the Telegram group, the English uh, Telegram group. And make sure you send a message in the last 28 days uh, for each giveaway to be eligible. 40,000 members, 100 winner will be announced on June 10. 50,000 members, 100 win winners will be announced on July 10. So you can uh, check it out if you are interested. Also, if you haven't installed the Brave browser, uh, this is a pretty cool browser because it brought out all the uh, advertising and tracker. So I can read the article faster and also block out all the advertising when I'm watching video uh, on the website. If you're interested, you can click the link below. Um, before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop, token swap, or giveaway. Also, you can follow me on Twitter as well. <clears throat> so this is uh, basically an article talk about that. Uh, there's some report find out that uh, the EOS steps are pretty useless because mostly are run by bots. And so Anchin is the security company that did the, uh, did the report. And they're talking about the majority of the blockchain dApps, including EOS, are pretty slow and struggling to attract users. And this report are basically saying that, uh, this is a shocking report, basically saying that those uh, dApps on EOS are run by bots. And remember, you know, early on we have CryptoKitties in, uh, in Ethereum, people have gone crazy, you know, buying all this stupid CryptoKitty. And at the time, I don't understand why people are doing that. I think it's pretty stupid dApps to begin with. And right now, nobody really talk about it, right? <laughs> this is like FOMO in for nothing. And so basically, uh, the report, uh, there's a full detailed report in Medium. So this is a, uh, our AI detects your AI. <laughs> Reviewing the secrets of blockchain depths world of bots. So maybe I'll talk about this article later on, but uh, this is pretty interesting. The AI detecting AI. <coughs> Excuse me. So basically, um, they're talking about the top 10 uh, EOS gambling uh, debts. They're say saying that they claim to have millions of transactions like every day, stuff like that. And you can see that 52% uh, is run by bots and 49% is run by a regular, uh, a normal transaction, a normal user. In terms of the transactions, it's even staggering. Like 74.8% 70, is run by uh, bots and only 25% is the actual uh, transaction. 25% is run by actual user using it. So this is pretty shocking. I mean, if this is this report is true, this is pretty shocking, right? <clears throat> so basically, uh, all these things are run by bots. I, I'm not surprised. Like uh, Steam, Steam is basically run by bots. So I stop. I stop using it because I sometimes they making some comment on the. On the uh, on the Steam account and then making something weird. I mean, basically, it's run by bots. Seriously, and of course, we have voice, right? Um, so then they announced that uh, they're going uh, block one. They're going to launch voice. Voice is basically like a Twitter on the blockchain. And to me, this announcement is a little bit disappointing because I thought they're going to announce something bigger, something that can uh, change the world. But this is nothing. This is nothing new. I mean, we already have Twitter. So what's, I mean, to me, it's a disappointing announcement. I mean, to, do you think it's disappointing to you guys too? I mean, to me, it's a little bit disappointing. I thought they're going to uh, announce something even bigger that is potentially changing, you know, how we do business, how we're changing uh, the way, how we live and stuff like that. <clears throat> so this is a disappointing, uh, disappointing announcement. I'll just get back to the report. So they're saying that uh, in terms of Ethereum, they did not, um, the, in terms of Ethereum dApps, they, they didn't even mention it in the report. I'm not sure if Ethereum has no, uh, has no block, uh, the, the, the bot is not running on Ethereum or they didn't report it, I'm not sure. So basically all this volume is uh, controlled by the bot, it's not a good sign. And to be fair, of course, Ethereum has, Ethereum has more dApps than uh, other platforms. <coughs> But then Ethereum, <laughs> the only problem is that most of the Ethereum devs have 
have have a uh, low to no adoption, which is useless. I mean, you want to be have mass adoption, right? And one of the top uh, performing debts in in EOS is of, of course is gambling web uh, gambling debts, right? And and yet those are also bot driven, run by bots. So uh, there's also saying that a ninety five percent of the trading volume is fake on the cryptocurrency exchange, and so they're saying that uh, blockchain debts are in fact more useless than we thought. I, I don't think I agree uh, the statement, uh, blockchain debt is useless. I mean, the thing is you can potentially uh, disrupt the whole banking industry. Like peer to peer, you send money to your friend overseas, you just, use, uh, you just go through the blockchain uh, to send cryptocurrency, you don't need the third party. This is uh, disrupting the whole banking industry. So I don't think uh, it's useless. I disagree with the statement. And but I wish that um, EOS have more dApps that can potentially change the world. So this is the blockchain dApps platform uh, on May 2019. This is a comparison. You can see Ethereum. Uh, you can see a sort the lending platform. Your civic identity system. Let Power Ledger is the uh, I uh, I think it's the they're doing the Sun Power. They're doing the uh, energy. Um, the green energy they're using the harvest the uh, sun power to generate energy omisigo is a payment system and then here they have more uh dApps that is not gambling related which is uh which is uh better than <laughs> mostly gambling website so you can compare eos all this is eos luck eos bet uh farm eos eos jack lucky bets okay all this dApps is very gambling in nature so I, I, I wish EOS can be more like uh, have uh, Ethereum types of dApps, like more serious in terms of like not just gambling focus. And then, and then here they circle this gambling and gaming focus platform, Ontology, Tron, and EOS. <laughs> that is ridiculous, man. <sighs> and then uh, Tron is basically gambling, all this junky Debs in Tron. I mean, if you're a Tron supporter, I'm sorry, but seriously, you probably heard about Justin Sun is going to have a 4.5 million uh, lunch with Warren Buffer. This is ridiculous. He should have used all this money to focus on his project, and yet he spent it like uh, for nothing. And also, those money is from the people who support the project, isn't it? <clears throat> so Aeon, they have a whole bunch of projects as well. Neon. Uh, Neo, uh, Neo, they have um, Trinity, those are identity, deep brain chain is a deep learning, Switchio, those are decentralized um, exchange, Traveler is a travel website, uh, you can book an uh, air ticket, a uh, book hotel, and Qtum, Icon, uh, so you can, you can check it out, I will talk about that probably later. Uh, to me, this is too gambling and in nature, and I think uh, EOS, they raise about four billion. They can do better than just gambling, right? So Cardano have nothing much going on. <laughs> Traxio, Traxio is basically is a landing platform, and this is like uh, so you can um, the invoice factoring services basically is a invoice so a land in, invoice factoring services, just like Populous. So let's get back to. So let's uh, shift gear a little bit, talk about uh, Justin Sun. <laughs> so, okay, he's Justin Sun. Okay, I'll talk about that a little bit earlier, right? So he's going to have a $4.5 uh, million uh, dollars lunch with uh, Warren Buffett. It's a waste of um, the people who, the investor or people who believe in your project. You raise all this money. You wasted all this money to go to lunch. And I think people comment is, hey, where is Internet 3.0? I thought he's going to build Internet 3.0, isn't it, right? In his uh, white paper, but he copied the white paper from somebody else. And anyway, so to me, Warren Buffett, he doesn't care about blockchain because he is from the old system. He doesn't, he, there's, a, uh, there's a huge conflict of interest. He doesn't want the cryptocurrency or Bitcoin or blockchain technology to be successful. Because he wants to be status quo, he wants to protect his own interests. So, <clears throat> because remember, this can potentially disrupt the uh, banking industry. You can wire money, you can do invoice factoring services the, in, the, in the enterprise level. For example, 
uh, invoice factoring, I talked about that a long, long time ago, populous and all that. Uh, right now, when you, uh, when the, when a small business company, when a small business, you know, uh, they sell goods to a department store like Macy, right? <clears throat> For example, the account uh, receivable is like 10,000. So the small business, they want some liquidity. They want some money before the 30 days uh, account receivable deal. So they want to get the money earlier, so they will sell the account receivable to the bank at a discount price. If it's a ten thousand, they sell at the bank probably uh, six thousand or seven thousand. The bank take all this uh, cut, right? So the bank also the, the bank uh, take that account receivable. Of course, they're going to only uh, buy your account receivable that is reliable. If it's on Macy's, of course, it's going to buy it, right? So they get it at a discount rate, and the bank in between, of course, profit three thousand. So this invoice factoring services, uh, basically, you can do it in blockchain because Populous already, um, already uh, servicing already up and running right now. <clears throat> that can potentially disrupt the banking industry. And also in terms of insurance, you know, Ron Buffett, um, the backbone is from the insurance company, right? <laughs> so if you if you're doing uh, peer to peer and all that, you don't need a middleman to do insurance. So that will potentially disrupt his his. Uh, bread and butter business so he's not going to support blockchain he's going to continue bashing the new system the cryptocurrency or blockchain i mean this is just publicity for justin sun seriously he just want publicity he have no plan to build internet 3.0 he just want all this publicity he just want all the money and all that and that's it so to me if you're if you are the one of the uh uh, supporter for Tron, <laughs> I will basically for the next uh, next run, uh, next uh, pump. You probably need to thumb the shit out of it. Seriously, this is a this is a scammy guy. Seriously, I mean, but I mean, I I know some people may disagree with me, but to me, if you use four point five million like this, you don't use your money wisely. You instead of focusing on your project, you just do a lunch to get the publicity. You are not serious in building. Uh, Tron 3.0 or Internet 3.0. Just forget about this guy. So not a financial advice. You do whatever you want, but this is just my take on this thing. I mean, this is just uh, outrageous, seriously. And I'm not a Tron supporter, but to me, I think this is totally wrong. <clears throat> and this is a bad, a bad impression or bad press to the to the crypto community. This is very shameful. <clears throat> so the next stop, uh, we're going to talk about. Um, Bitcoin Marco. So Bitcoin Marco is really interesting. He, I mean, he has a he has wisdom. He always uh, tweeting things has um, has a level of um, how can I say, very in in depth understanding of what's going on uh, in the overall big picture. So what he what he's saying is uh, is pretty, pretty cool. So whale will steal your bag and they will run your stop. They will tire you with the sideway and chop. They will artificially create candles and make you sell. And then they will make you buy back at a higher price and don't let them. That's very true. That's very true. They are playing emotion, actually. So before you enter or exit a trade, you have to have a plan. So if you don't have a plan, just forget about it. So you're going to lose money. And also, don't uh, make sure you don't have your emotion attached to your project or attached to anything. Just follow the indicator. And if, if, the, if you meet the indicator, if the indicators are mad, you get in the tray or exit the tray. Just forget about those emotions. Otherwise, you lose huge money. So price goes up. This is purely natural. Price go down. This is pure manipulation. And this is pretty interesting. He tweeted about that. You deserve to stay broke forever if you get liquidated on 10% retracement. That's very true. I mean, in the crypto world, 30 to 40% uh, retracement is pretty common just in one day, right? So it's nothing uncommon. Unlike the traditional market, maybe... 15% is a big deal. It's already it's screaming like crazy. <clears throat> so this is a um, response to Peter Brand, uh, Bitcoin grinder. So he's saying he, do, he, he make a joke of this thing. <laughs> do you think Google tank and going back down? <laughs> that is funny. And Josh, uh, I think he made a statement saying that Bitcoin is still working at the bottom of a channel and currently held down at a daily resistance. A push up and close above 8,200 8, 8, would be bullish. And 
still watching 772 as a support target and he will consider buying and long, uh, long and buying. Um, so not a financial advice, you do whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm not that uh, I'm not that worried about Bitcoin in the long run. To me, if you buy at 4,000, 7,000, 8,000, does it matter? If Bitcoin go to uh, potentially 100,000, right? <clears throat> And probably I will talk about this. I talked about this probably a long, long time ago, like the Bitcoin uh, time traveler. So he basically make a forecast saying that uh, this was published five years ago, five years ago, remember, in Reddit. So he pub he's saying that 1,000 in 2015, 10,000 in 2017, 100,000 in 2019, 1 million in 2021. And actually he made the right call. Uh, we could get up to 20,000, right? Almost in 2017. So I'm not surprised we get 100,000 in 2019. So not a financial advice. You do whatever you want to do in your money. So just uh, just be careful out there and uh, stay safe. Let me know what you think about uh, Justin Sun uh, spend all this money, 4.5 million, uh, just to have lunch and get publicity uh, with Warren Buffett and all that. And do you agree with that or no? And also, what do you think about uh, EOS? Do you think uh, EOS is run by bots? Or do you disagree with them? Or what do you think? Please comment below. I would love to hear from you. What's your, what's your opinion on this? If you find this video helpful, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel. Also, uh, share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't, make sh uh, you, you don't miss out the upcoming airdrop or token as well. Also follow me on Twitter as well. Remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our money. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not a financial advisor. Investing in IC or cryptocurrency has inherent risk. Please use your due diligence.